Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we have one very very interesting question from algebra. We have one quartic equation x power 4 minus 8x cube plus mx square minus 8x equal to 3 and we have to evaluate the unknown m which is coefficient of x square in our equation. Given that sum of two roots equal to sum of remaining two roots. So let's get started. I will write here roots of quartic equation x1, x2, x3 and x4. Now we can use Vita's method and write sum of roots formula. So x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 will be equal to minus b over a. So minus of minus 8 over 1. So I can write x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 will be equal to 8. Now given that x1 plus x2 equal to x3 plus x4. So in place of x3 plus x4, we can write x1 plus x2. So we will write x1 plus x2 plus x1 plus x2 equal to 8 or we can write 2 times x1 plus x2 equal to 8 or x1 plus x2 will be equal to 8 over 2 which is 4. Now x1 plus x2 is equal to x3 plus x4. So I can write here this will be equal to x3 plus x4 also. Now we can think about product of two quadratics. Let me write here x1 plus x2. This is equal to 4. x3 plus x4 also equal to 4. Now we will write our equation to one side. x power 4 minus 8x cube plus mx square minus 8x minus 3 equal to 0. Now can we write LHS as a product of two quadratics? Yes, we can write x square minus sum of roots. If I am writing in terms of product of two quadratics, then we can think about x1 plus x2. So we will be writing here minus 4x plus product of x1 and x2 which we do not know. So we will write a. Similarly for x3 and x4 we can write this bracket x is square. Again we have sum of roots 4. So minus 4x and x3 times x4 let us say it is b equal to 0. Now we are going to compare these two. So let me multiply both the brackets first. So we will write x power 4. Then we can write minus 4x cube. Multiplication of x square with minus 4x. Then we will multiply with b. So bx square. Now minus 4x times x square minus 4x cube. Minus 4x times minus 4x. We will write 16x square minus 4x times b, we will write minus 4bx. Now we have to multiply with a, ax square minus 4ax plus ab. This is our LHS. Now let us add. We will write x power 4 minus 8x cube, which is matching. Then we have a plus b plus 16. So I will write a plus b plus 16 times x square. Then we will write minus 4 is common in the bracket a plus b times x. And then we have plus ab equal to 0. Now we are going to compare coefficients. 
so this part we are not going to compare as it is same so we can write a plus b plus 16 coefficient of x square this would be equal to m so first equation would be a plus b plus 16 equal to m second equation we are going to write comparison of coefficient of x so i can write minus 4 times a plus b equal to minus 8 let me write here minus 4 times a plus b equal to minus 8 and third equation we will write from comparing constants from both the sides so a b is equal to minus 3 so we can write three equations let me write all the three equations here first equation is a plus b plus 16 equal to m second equation is minus 4 times a plus b equal to minus 8 third equation is a b equal to minus 3 so first equation we will use once we will know a and b or a plus b so let us consider these two to find out a plus b once a plus b is known our m is known so i will consider here second equation i will divide both sides by minus 4 so let me write here minus 4 times a plus b equal to minus 8 divide by negative 4 both sides so minus 4 minus 4 will be over from lhs we will get a plus b equal to minus 4 minus 8 will give us 2 a plus b is 2 now our third equation is a b equal to minus 3 now we will take up this new system of equations so from this equation i can write b will be equal to 2 minus a which we are going to apply here so i can write a times 2 minus a equal to minus 3 or 2a minus a square equal to negative 3 take all the terms to rhs we will get a square minus 2a minus 3 equal to 0 now we have to factorize which we can find out easily a plus 1 times a minus 3 equal to 0 so from here we are having two values of a negative 1 and 3 now we can consider this equation the product of a and b is minus 3 so we can write here b will be equal to 3 once a is negative 1 as product of a and b is minus 3 and once a is 3 we have to consider b minus 1 product is minus 3 so i can write here a comma b equal to minus 1 comma 3 or 3 comma minus 1 let me write here a comma b equal to minus 1 comma 3 or 3 comma minus 1 now we will calculate a plus b value which will come out minus 1 plus 3 from both the solutions so we will be getting a plus b equal to 2 now we can write our m equation m was a plus b plus 16 now in place of a plus b we can put 2 so this will be equal to 2 plus 16 value of m will be 18 so our answer is 18 now we have to find roots also so let me put the value of m to our quartic equation into the factorized form or we can put the value of a and b in the quadratic product so i will use that I will write x square minus 4x plus a. So let us take a is equal to 3. This case. 
and second bracket we will be writing x square minus 4x minus 1 equal to 0. Now we can use product 0 rule. So either x square minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0 or we can write x square minus 4x minus 1 equal to 0. Now we have to solve these two equations one by one. Let me write here x square minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0. Let us use completing the square method. x square minus 4x. This will be equal to negative 3. Now I will add 4 to both sides. Plus 4. Plus 4. So LHS will give us x minus 2 whole square. And RHS will be 1. Now we will take a square root both the sides and write x minus 2 will be equal to plus minus 1. Now we have to add 2 to both sides. We will get our answer x is equal to 2 plus minus 1. So we can write here 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1. So our first two solutions 3 and 1. Now we have to take up second quadratic equation x square minus 4x minus 1 equal to 0 x square minus 4x minus 1 equal to 0 now we are going to use quadratic formula so let me write formula once so we will write x equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4 times a c over 2 times a. As per our equation, we can write a is 1, b is negative 4, coefficient of x, c is constant which is minus 1 here. Let's apply all the values to find out x. So we will put b equal to negative 4, minus of minus 4, plus 4 plus minus square root of b square so minus 4 square is 16 minus 4 times a is 1 c is negative 1 over 2 times 1 is 2 will be equal to 4 plus minus square root of 16 plus 4 over 2 will be equal to 4 plus minus square root 20 which we can write square root 4 times 5 or 2 square root 5 over 2 or we can write 2 plus minus square root 5. So we have 4 roots first one 2 plus root 5 second one 2 minus root 5 and if I will write the remaining two, 1 and 3 or 3 and 1. So we have four solutions 1, 3, 2 plus minus square root 5. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.